Hi guys, this video is going to show you how to get right up to the point of sending your email campaign on Pitchbox. So it's really importing, prospecting, um, getting your email template set up, personalizing all the details before you send your email campaign. And yeah, right up to the point of sending. So I'm gonna go through and show you exactly how to do it. So on Pitchbox, um, you're going to want to, first of all, whenever you're importing or starting a new campaign, you need to create a new campaign. So for this example, I'm going to show you how to do a CSV import of websites that have already been prospected. So I've created this uh, prospect list here. It's a really big prospect list. It's about 400 websites. Um, and these are resource pages for uh, sort of green and natural energy uh, all the email addresses are here we've got the we've got a lot of email addresses not all of them but most of them so we're going to download this as csv um, one really important thing about this stage is i always add uh, an extra column here which includes the exact target page url this is so that the recipient knows the exact page that you want your link to be placed. So we're gonna need, because Pitchbox is gonna read this column as the domain, and it's gonna read this column as the exact uh, referring page URL. So we're always gonna to want to make sure that this is included in column B as well as the domain name. So we've downloaded our CSV, now it's ready to, to upload. So we're gonna name this campaign green resources and I'm going to choose my file Let's see where it is uh, it's probably down here green energy resource pages so we're going to import <clears throat> and this part is important you do not want to ignore this um, you're going to want to create a new personalization field here if you ignore that, then this will disappear. So that's really important. Add a new personalization field here. I'm just going to go next. Skip this. Okay, so this is uh, Pitchbox is just going to run through, uh, acquire our targets, find all the relevant information, um, and whatnot. Um, at this point, you is, is I usually just set up my email templates at this point. Um, it's a good time to do it. Don't worry if you're not the designated um, templates person. You don't have to do it at this point. Um, but usually, you know, I'll just I'll just pick a a, um, a template, either one that I've already created or one from another project. I've got tons. I'm not going to show you how to create good email templates. That's another story for another time. But you're going to want to add your templates in here. Um, I have an example. This is one I, I, I really successful email template uh, for guest posting in general. I like to use this and tweak this for uh, different clients. Um, so, you know, this is just a guest post opportunity domain. Um, some suggestions for guest posts, or links to some recent posts. And uh, yeah, just a really simple uh, template. So, that is going to be still uploading here just now. Uh, it's probably going to take a couple of minutes, but I can show. Oh, yeah, I can show you on another campaign how it looks after it's uploaded. Just go back to uh, campaign. <clears throat> so you're going to see this overview here. Uh, so there's there, there's really like four or five stages: inspection stage, personalization stage, compose stage. Outbox is just like when it's the email has been sent but not yet delivered and then sent. So for an inspection, this is really where you just clear out any of the dead weight, um, any junk, dead weight, irrelevant websites. We're going to just want to remove them here. So, you know, any sites like this where it's like about.com, they're, you know, they're never going to add a link in there. Uh, a lot of forums you're going to want to clear out. Um, even some government websites you're going to want to clear out this because this resource page it was already filtered down i'm not going to have to inspect anything here so I, I don't even have to worry about that 
But what I would normally do is delete all, go through, delete all the irrelevant sites. <clears throat> um, I'm just going to do this really quickly just to show you how it's done. Then once you know I'm really happy with my list, I'm going to move them all over to the personalization stage. And really the personalization stage is by far the most important stage. Um, so this is where, you know, Pitchbox will automatically pick up on some items. Um, it'll try and pick up on the site name, but as you can see, it, it misses out a ton of them. Uh, it'll try and pick up on some, on some first names of contacts where it's possible. Uh, so you can see here, so it's got like a, a first name David here, but probably we're going to want to add in a few more different first names. Um, also, we don't need to ever be contacting 12 people from the same set website. So what I would normally do is go through, just say like, you know, I don't want to be contacting 12 people. If we already have, a, you know, list like this put together where, um, you know, we already have like a, a, a email address for each site, then we're not going to even have to do this. It's going to make our, our job so much easier. Um, okay, prospecting is completed. Um, so yeah, th this is where the personalization stage is really important. You're going to want to add in a site name. Um, you're going to want to add in a first name. And you're going to want to add in an email address if you, if you can't find an email address. Those are really the, th the three key items for personalization. So I'm just going to view the campaign here, you know, because we added the, we, we didn't add all email addresses, but we added most of them. So it's picked up most of them, which is great. It's going to make your job a whole lot easier. Um, so because I know that this is pretty much all good to go. We've got most of the personalization stages in that we want. Going to move all those to personalization. These are all in here. Let's just assume that this is all done, ready, complete. It looks great. Um, although, you know, again, we're going to want to filter down some of those contacts. Um, Bypass personalization. I want to show you guys the compose stage. So, you know, 354 bypassed. If you don't add in the contact information, it can, you know, it can be sent. So it'll keep them in the personalization stage, which is great. Now, once we're here, we really have two options. Um, so, you know, we've uploaded our CSV. We've inspected the websites, removed any junk. We've done our personalization. So added site names, first names, email address. Um, let's assume we've already got our email templates ready. Now we're at the compose stage and we are ready to either launch the automation sequence, which means you're going to launch uh, an automated email sequence. So you're going to send emails to everyone at once um it won't it won't send them all at once i should say we do set an outreach schedule <clears throat> so you know you can set a daily limit on this outreach schedule uh you know if there's five days a week we can do four days if we want um we can limit it to only 50 a day which is a good thing to do so that you get a steady flow of responses rather than hundreds of responses at once um let's just save that there Yep, that's all fine. Um, yep, so our email, uh, e email, that's just this, let's take one from this project. Um, do, 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 do. Okay, let's just make one up. So please add my resource link to your page. Um, I'm not even going to show you this just now, but uh, yeah, let's go back. <clears throat> so green resources on the compose stage. 
let's assume these are all ready. This would be where we either, so if we want to launch these all at once, click this top button here, and then we press the launch automation sequence. You're always going to want to preview first just to make sure that everything's correct. Um, the reason we can't preview here just now is because we don't have a uh, <laughs> template created. But um, you're going to want to preview, make sure the template's already. If it is ready, you can either launch an automation sequence or if you're doing like a really personalized campaign, um, what you're going to want to do is send emails one by one. So you're going to just want to click through each one. Uh, compose. So this button here will allow you to compose. You know, you're sending to this person, you're the subject. Um, you can use, you can import a template just, you know, as a basic template and then fill in some items of personalization like, hey, Jeff, love this site in particular. I found your recent article about bugs appealing. So, you know, if you want to do a really personalized campaign and go through emails one by one, that's great. Often we will just launch a batch sequence um, for speed, for volume, for efficiency. But, you know, if, if it's a campaign that you need to take really good care of, um, I see you're doing guest posts, then you're going to want to, you're going to want to make it, uh, you know, much more personalized. So that's it. That This is up to the point of um, launching emails. The next video is going to show you how to, um, how to deal with responses once you get responses back in your inbox. So that's how to really close links, the next video. So I hope that helped, guys. And any questions, uh, just feel free to ask.